Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to use a responsive slideshow um, called Flex Slider. Um, if you recall, before we had the slideshow, and uh, it works great, right? Let's actually change something in it, though. Let's uh, let's go to our image, and let's change this to be a larger image. I think like Project Test was pretty big. Okay, so let's select all. Yeah, so this is nice, nice and big enough. Okay, cool. So let's save this. And this is in our main. It's cool. So here's our big, big slideshow. Um, it's doing its thing, right? Okay. Well, let's let's see if we went into a different theme. Let's say we have a responsive theme. Luckily, I've been building a theme myself um, for my website, and uh, I have that on here. Let's just enable it. Um, set default. Okay. So this is a theme that I've been building for my website, uh, and as you can see, actually, I'm sorry, let's turn this on this block. We don't have this turned on. I'm just going to turn this slideshow on in the main content. View slideshow. We're going to set content. Okay. Okay, so as you can see here, we now have the slideshow. It's thrown onto our page. It um, doesn't look great because, of course, this theme um, wasn't designed to have the slideshow here. I just sort of threw it on. But um, let's actually check this out. So let's say you have a site um, and this site's responsive so it's going to respond to your browser size you know to accommodate for different browser widths or even mobile versus non-mobile desktop whatever laptop tablet whatever you got so as you can see as the browser window changes things sort of adjust right here so here's a breakpoint where things have adjusted but the slideshow is not adjusted and even further it's just going to keep going getting worse and worse and worse and that's because cycle is not um, built to respond to something like this, responsive web design, whatever. So uh, we need something different for that. If your site's responsive, which I would recommend that you make your site's responsive, um, then you're going to need something different that's not just jQuery cycle. Uh, luckily, there's a jQuery uh, plugin called Flex Slider. And also, luckily, there's a module called Flex Slider for Drupal. And what this does is it not only includes the Flex Slider module, but it also includes the Views Slideshow Flex Slider module. And that allows you to connect to the Flex Slider within the same slideshow interface that we were using before. So I'm just going to grab and I'm going to throw this Flex Slider module in here. I'm going to come back to our site. We're going to go to Modules. And we're going to install this. Okay, so we're just going to type Flex. Okay, and the ones I'm going to use, I'm going to grab Flex Slider, which is the main module, and then I'm going to grab Flex Slider Views Slideshow. Okay, let's save configuration for that. And then now we should be able to go into our slideshow. Let's click back out of here. Let's grab the gear, edit our view. And then now when we have our slideshow settings, we'll leave this onto Slideshow, and we can select Flex Slider from here. Okay. And uh, let's leave controls on, um, and then we'll just keep them as weight here, options, default, um, caption, whatever, we don't apply to all displays. Okay, so if you'll notice here, we have our slideshow, but again, it's not working. If you remember last time, we had to go in and add the library as well. So for this, we have to get the library. Um, you can get this at GitHub, um, and for this one, just download and I'm going to throw this into my libraries. Okay, so we're going to want to down we're going to drag this flex sliders into our library and we're just going to change its name just to say flex slider flex slider enter. Okay. Now let's actually go back to our view here, edit view or not. Okay, let's go to edit view. Okay. Um we don't have to really go in here, but I'm just making sure we didn't forget anything. Okay, controls everything. Perfect. Okay, so now we scroll down and we have our flex slider. Let's see here, it's added these buttons on here. Um, you can sort of configure that yourself. Actually, let's go back to uh, configuration and let's change that. So over in configuration, we can find the flex slider configuration. It's under here under media flex slider and we're going to select default because that's the one we're editing 
and let's check this out. We don't want to use those buttons. Um, navigation and control settings. Yeah, sure, we'll leave keyboard, mouse wheel, navigation on. Actually, I'm going to turn mouse wheel navigation off because it's sort of annoying to me. Um, but of course, you may want to use it, whatever. Advanced options. Okay. Okay, project test. Okay, so cool. This is fine. Um, if we want to get rid of those images, we'll just have to CSS it out. It's no big deal. Um, going back to our slideshow settings, uh, skin is a default. Slide option set, again, default. No caption field. If we want to add a caption field, you could import your body text as a summary and have that be a caption. Um, you could select this as being the caption field. Okay, controls. Cool. Perfect. All right, let's save this. And now we have our slideshow here, right? Um, you know, this, some of these default options are a little silly with this like white border. It's like something you always have to turn off when you immediately turn on Flex Slider, but it's no big deal. We have a slideshow working, it's fading, and let's see what happens when we adjust our browser size. So here it just had a breakpoint and it changed, it shuffled, and the slideshow even still fits the page. We change it again, still fits down to mobile, all the way down, still fits. Cool, and then so you can use CSS to really skin it uh, if you need to, to change it. And um, and here we have a working jQuery slideshow that is flexible to your page width. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Uh, thanks for watching, bye.